The MATC Times is an award-winning college newspaper dedicated to outstanding journalism. Even though much has changed in the current year, the Times has a storied history of excellence that it continues to uphold. We are one of the top college newspapers in the nation. We're a member of the Associated Collegiate Press and the College Media Association. We've won the Pacemaker Award, which is the college newspaper version of the Academy Award, 13 times. And our newspaper was actually submitted into the College Media Association Hall of Fame in 1989. We're just known for our quality and our conviction to making sure our readers have newspaper copy that they enjoy and feel good about reading. The Times welcomes students from all different kinds of backgrounds to pitch in and help create the stories that shape their community, keeping their readers informed, but also entertained. When I was at the student orientation in Victoria and some of the other people from the Times were there and they talked about the Times, they mentioned how they were looking for photographers and other people. And in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm a photographer. I could do that. Okay, so then they're like, hey, we have a booth at the end. You can come up and talk to us. And I was like, okay, I, sh I should go do that. Our door is usually open if someone's interested, so they can always knock. Um, we have a paper set up to where they can, you know, talk and we can see if you guys, you know, what roles you can contribute here at the Times. I am the only student film critic for the MATC Times here. I'm the only one who writes about movies. I review movies and uh, right now I'm actually um, covering the Milwaukee Film Festival, which is all virtual. and just writing reviews, summaries. I'm trying to watch a lot of movies here. Even though I can't be at the theater, I'm still watching them. We're always looking for students to come in and contribute and help out. This year, even though we have a limited number of people in the school here, 75% of our new staff have actually just knocked on the door and come in and said, hey, I'd like to contribute. Whereas 25% have actually submitted us an email or They've gone to our website and discussed their interest in joining the Times. Not only do students work on creating the content for the newspaper, they are upholding the history of MATC itself. We have archives and books that goes back from ages, and it's literally so important to me and important to the school's history and everything like that. If you ever visit the MATC Times newsroom, you'll see that we have an archive of our newspaper going back to 1920s. So you could pretty much look at the history of this school through the pages of the MATC Times. Developments within the institution are archived in the articles of the Times, which are then printed on site through the MATC printing department. My relationship with the folks at the MATC Times spanned over the past 25 years where I worked with a lot of different students here at the college, which were all great students. And we produced the school MATC Times newspaper. We're one of the few schools in the nation that actually has a printing department on site where we can work hand in hand with them to see how that process is going. With divisiveness and uncertainty looming in the nation, it is now more important than ever to stay informed with reliable news sources. The MATC Times is making a commitment to local coverage of stories within the community. This year is important and it's the most important election so that's what we're taking into consideration and doing moving forward. We're going to focus on local elections as well and we're also going to include a lot of voter information. With new developments happening rapidly, the MATC Times is using their website, Facebook page, and social media presence to inform the public in a timely fashion. Whatever photo opportunities that we can get are photo opportunities that we're taking. And that's like a social media smaller aspect. I mean, another thing is like, they're opening voter um, areas at these places, which they've never done before. Let's go take photos of the buildings and the places where you'll be able to vote that weren't open before. If you're a first time, voter, take it seriously, don't take it for granted. We're not stopping writing just because there's a pandemic. It's actually, you could argue it's more important than ever to write for people, uh, to give them hope and um, give them something to do in their free time. But uh, it's, it's still, we're still going.
The MATC Times is keeping the community up to date on the latest news and recording what is soon to be history for future generations to come.